my goodness, that was a workout. Wow, everybody. Hello, my... hello. Hi, everyone. I have to fix my headphones. They kept falling out. <laughs> Renee, the hair is it's doing all right, I think. It's doing all right. We'll, we'll have to yeah, check midstream. Little, little Just flop a little bit action out. going on. What is going on? <laughs> Guys, we're gonna need some new hair gel. I don't know. So, yeah. hey, Marcus, thank you so much. Yeah. Did, uh, hey, I don't know if I have the stream elements working properly, but it kind of came up a little bit weird. So, let's see how that all goes. But uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Renee. More product. The shark fin is a little <laughs> shredded, just a tad bit, French press. Just, just a tad bit. It did get a little yeah. messed up. Pomade emergency. My hair is perfect and as it always is, you know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, welcome to the show, everybody. Cal, yeah. uh, Callie, you gonna open this up? Yeah, let's open. Well, okay, yeah. We were gonna hang out a little bit first, but we're just gonna dive right in, everybody. <laughs> so, hey, everyone. Welcome to the takeover. I know you're wondering where Luria is. She's a little busy right now. So, it's me and Daniel, who is, uh, you've probably seen him in the Ecamm community on Facebook. He's always coming in and helping out. And today he's going to help us figure out a budget studio build from the ground up. So we're going to work through that together. Are you ready? Ready, Daniel? I'm, I'm ready. As you can see, You're this dark. is a really dark scene. <laughs> well, let me just switch to this camera then. <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing is I mean, we're going to be doing a live recording of this show. So you guys get like, you're like the studio audience. So, hey, this is awesome. You guys got free tickets. Thanks for showing up. It's going to be a really great show today. We're going to show you how you can actually build a really good looking studio for very little money. Some people think they've got to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, but I'm going to show you pretty much from scratch how I've been able to achieve and accomplish a certain type of a look, which to be honest with you, I think looks pretty okay. And uh, so let's, let's get started here. Callie, yeah, you gonna open it up? I think the real question is, is uh, Helger hair gel in the budget? <laughs> Helger, <laughs> hair gel in the budget? Hair gel, is, is it in the budget? Yeah. It's, uh, is it in the budget? We'll, yeah. Luria, yeah, Luria, we'll have to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm super ready. This has been way exciting. I'm ready. Yeah. Especially, um, okay. you know, you're super minimal right now, which are a lot of our students and people that we know, including me. So this is going to be super helpful. I'm super ready. Cool. All right, Kelly, you're going to open up the recording? Yeah. Or, or do you want me to? You do it. Ready? <laughs> I thought I kind of already did, to be honest. No, this like, is the part hey, where you're going to do the recording. And you're going to say, hey, today we're going to show you low-cost studio build. Hey, everyone. I'm just kidding. Hey, today we're going to show you a low-cost studio build with Daniel. <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, Callie. Thanks for having me on. So uh, oh God, as Callie said, we're really just going to show you how uh, I built a really low cost studio. And the reason why I'm going to give you a heads up right now is because I'm actually moving. So I sold pretty much all of my stuff a few weeks ago, and it was literally a bare office. I mean, aside from this one thing that you see here, it was for the most part bare. It was just these beige walls. And right now I am using a Logitech C920, which is like the workhorse of webcams. It's the, it's the camera that's been around for ages right now, and it's been doing phenomenally well. And you know, right now it still sells for about $78, but a year and a half ago, this thing was probably half that price. But even right now at $78, it's actually a great, great deal. So the first thing I want to show you is how we've set up the background and, and a little ideas of what you can do. Now, of course, you can see where Callie's at. Callie's at Lurio's studio apartment and Luria spent a significant amount of time designing what she wanted, designing the style. She wanted a Japanese uh, scene, right? Japanese feel. I forget what she called it, but essentially she's got a, a sword. What's it called? A katana blade in the, in the, in the over yeah. Callie's left shoulder there. She's got some Japanese Look. lanterns and a, yeah, a couple of other Rock. items. There's a little wood burn sign from Doc Rock that's supposed to represent uniquely you. Wait, if I get out, can you see it? Yep. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So you can see this yeah. beautiful design setup that she has there. And def definitely look into developing your own studio with the elements that really make you you. 
So if I'm a mechanic, I'm going to have car parts in the background. If I'm a technology kind of a person, I'm going to have more technology and gadgets and gear and LEDs and all of these different types of thing in the background. However, because I am in a pretty much a barren place, I'm just going to show you a few things that I grabbed from around the house and a few things that we bought recently and how to, how to put that all together. So Callie, take over the show and I'm going to start moving some things around. All right, so we're going to prank Daniel really quick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so Daniel, um, as you can see, like how far away are you from your background? This so here right at now, the studio is 176 inches. It's about 11 feet from where the camera is sitting right now to the corner of this room. And some of the people will actually be wondering why we use the corner. The corner is actually really interesting. It, it adds a little bit of extra depth because there is different types of are different types of styles of studios that you have, and some people have a flat background, and that's totally okay. That completely works. However, what's happening nowadays is most people are aiming towards the corner, not necessarily center. Maybe a little bit one third this way or one third that way, and uh, it it all works. So play around with it. Now my office is about twelve by twelve. And I've got a desk with a bit of junk here and so forth. But let me just kind of maneuver some things around and I'll start to show you what ends up happening when I start to yeah. move things. Ooh. Helps create some depth. There are some hot spots on the lamp, but that's just some webcam action going on. Ooh, a nice plants too. Ooh, plants. A cabinet. And, yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, so, one of them's fake. Which, oh wait, the donkey tail's fake. The succulent looking That one's one. fake. That little succulent is fake, yeah. I thought you I were it. saying something else, but yeah, the little succulent is fake. <laughs> so now you've got a little bit of extra depth. The lamp is definitely a hot scene right now, simply because uh, it's a webcam. And I, don't, I didn't install the drivers to kind of control it fully, but you can completely do that. So this is a relatively okay scene, right? Now, yeah. let's level it up one more bit. Let's add a little bit of extra accent lighting to the back. What do you think? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, so, some LED light action. What kind you got? So, so these are the Litu Photo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Litu Photo RGB LED lights. Two of them for $104 right now on Amazon US. And they do the full entire spectrum of lights. So I'm just going to turn this one on. This is Ooh. a red one. I'm just going to... I'm not making it aesthetically pleasing right now. I'm just moving things around and we'll change and I was, adjust the intensity. I was the gonna intensity. say, put it behind that diffuser back there. Put it behind the diffuser? Okay, let's see yeah. what we can do. So then it lights that wall and it's not so big of a hot spot. Oh, yes, Ooh. look at that. Ooh, you can make it bigger and smaller. That's yeah. Cool. So we'll move this around. Well, it's actually turning on the intensity. And so this is the blue nice. one and that's getting there. So now it adds a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of yeah. whatever. And you know, our good friend Ron talks about lighting objects and not surfaces. And I think I'm kind of cheating a little bit and adding a little bit of both. But you can start to play around. And this is something I just put together. Obviously, you can see in just a matter of a couple of minutes. It's a yeah. start, right? And now of course, this is the C920. What's wrong with this picture, Callie? You're not lit up. You're dark. You're not lit up. All right. Yeah. Well, that's the next level of what we're going to do. We're going to add some extra lighting. Now, Ooh. this lighting kit here is a softbox lighting kit. One of the things you need to know about softboxes or lighting is that the larger the surface of the lit area, the softer the light will be. So if you think about a flashlight and that's on somebody's face, it's very harsh. You get shadows and everything. But the larger you make that surface of the, of the light, like a big window as an example, you get a much softer look. It's very aesthetically pleasing. So what I've got here is a two-piece softbox kit from Amazon. And it only costs, guess what? It only costs $58 right now. Yeah, and I'm going to so. turn on one light right now. And this is going to be a light that's just above me here. And let's ah. let the camera adjust. And all of a sudden, you can see that I'm more evenly lit right now. Yeah. Uh, let me just show you on nice. this device here what it looks like. So you can see that is the softbox. It measures approximately two and a half feet, or maybe almost three feet by a foot and a half. And it's a really, really good softbox. It comes with uh, some 
uh, uh, cold fluorescent lamp bulbs inside of there that are almost worth $25 each if you were going to buy them. And this is the setup itself here. Now I've got I've got this, the Stream Deck XL, an extra monitor in my M1 MacBook Pro, but this is just for me to show you. Essentially, I'm only using specific items to present to you right now. And now that I've got two lights in this kit that's only $58, I'm going to turn on what we call the hair light or the backlight to kind of bring me away from the rest of the background. So Separation. let's turn on this one. So you can see now my hair is lit, my shoulders are a little bit lit, and there's a yeah. little bit more depth. What do you think? It looks great. I want to see what it looks like when you turn that lamp off in the background. Oh, I think that so lamp? Okay. Someone, I saw someone else say it too, I think. Okay, how's that? Come sit and see. Well, now you got to move the lamp, I think, because that's going to bother me. <laughs> that's going to bother you? Okay, hold on. I think it looks on. great either way, though. Yeah. Oh, broke the lamp. Symmetry. All right. For the light. Here we go. So I like that. You know, you can kind of see what's going on here. Yeah. Scott Pilgrim level up energy is real from uh, Renee. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and so this is really the beginning of what you can use inside of your studio. And all yeah. in all, this only costs a couple hundred dollars, not even really. And um, so there are a few other things that I would suggest is that if you're using a webcam, now, of course, you can mount it to the top of your monitor or mount it to the top of your display on your laptop, but I like having more control over it. So what I've actually done on my side is I've mounted it to this thing called a friction arm. Oh, and these nice. friction That's... arms are actually, they're great. So you can see the, see the silver pole in the back? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> so <laughs> that is not what that kind of a pole. It is a desk mount <laughs> pole. So <laughs> this one clamps to the desk and it stays upright. And I can, amount, I can mount and attach pretty much anything to it with a clamp. So I've got currently three friction arms. The ones that I have, well, you can see with the pink knobs, these are by Neewer. Yeah. I really don't suggest these because they keep breaking on me. So let's not use those. So you'll probably find in the chat group and the link in the description here, uh, the small rig friction arms. And those are actually really, really good because I found that the clamp here is a lot tighter and can and doesn't wiggle. Now the friction arm is great because it's got a little quarter inch thread uh, on a quarter inch bolt on here that you can mount any camera or attachment to. And nice. when you loosen this knob, the whole arm gets to move. So you just move the camera or the object to where you want it and you tighten the knob. And that's all you've got to do. You just simply tighten the knob and it stays there. And so that's what I've got going on with this little tiny webcam. That's and, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm assuming I mean, you can't all have all, a, one of those up desks that goes up and down when you have one of those. Well, funny enough is this is actually what I do recommend to people who have sit-stand desks because it's not mounted to the ground. It's actually mounted to your desk. So if your desk moves, everything moves along with it. So oh, so it's, it's not stopped in one. Interesting. So the pole yeah. itself like expands and kind of contracts with your desk when you use Well, it? let's just put it this way. Here's the desk surface, right? The pole clamps to the desk like this, and then yeah. the pole goes up. So whether you move your desk, it's always like that. And oh. so every placement that you have with your cameras, your microphones, and so forth, it actually is all together. Now, the light that you saw in the back here, this big light box, I'm just simply using the light stand that came with it. You can see that right here. Yeah. Uh, however, in my real setup, what I've actually done is I've gotten a little bit more of an expensive arm, a friction arm by Manfrotto, and I've mounted that to the silver pole that you were looking at. And that way, when my, if I raise my desk, the light goes along with it. It's actually pretty phenomenal. Uh, but nice. that pole is a little bit more expensive. And, um, but you know, this is a great start. So this configuration is phenomenal. Now, everybody can hear me. I'm actually using a uh, lavalier microphone just so that I can walk around a little bit so that you're always hearing me on this broadcast. But what I've done is I've configured it, this base level configuration uh, that is using what we call, it's a blue, blue microphone. It's a snowball, which is a phenomenal microphone for what it costs. And it, it's, it's, guess what? This configuration alone only cost $225. So you've got oh. the Logitech C920. You've got the Softbox lighting kit with the two boxes. Mm. 
You've got a blue snowball, which is on sale for $40 right now, the desk mount pole, which is $21, and the small rig friction arms, which are $28 each. And if my math is correct, because I'm not doing live math on this uh, this, this live stream, <laughs> We're not that comes out to 225 <laughs> Not mathing around. It's only two hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> so, so you can see you can get started really, really simply um, for just a, over a couple hundred dollars and really get some good results on your live streams. And so, you know, if you're looking and watching this video, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to say to yourself, "Oh, that's something I can't afford," or maybe I should get, you know, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera or whatever. You can go ahead and do those things, but it's just more complicated in the beginning. My suggestion for you to, would be to just go live. Just go live yeah. and get it, get it going. Yeah. We yeah. always say, as long as you have a phone that has a camera and internet access, you're good. You're good to go. But exactly. if you want to sit up, then yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to level it up a little bit more. I'm not going to touch anything in the background. I'm going to leave that as it is. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my Sony ZV-1. This camera Ooh. is... Um, Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. <laughs> this is now the ZV-1 camera. And you can see that if you didn't look at the C920, the C920 is almost as good, right? But the mm -hmm. Sony has a larger sensor. It is a one inch uh, um, sensor on this mirrorless camera. So you get a lot more rich depth and color to it. And because it has a really good built-in lens at f1.8, I do get a little bit more blur in the background. Not as much as if I had, you know, the, the famous Sony a6100 uh, with the f1.4 Sigma, but it actually works really, really well. Um, so, so that is that camera. Just switching back to the, this is the C920, and this is the Sony ZV-1. Wow. You'll notice one big difference, though. See my hand moving? It's really smooth. Yeah. That's 60 frames a second. And this is the Canon C920. It's running at somewhere between 25 and 30 frames a second. So for the most part, if you're not moving and you're just tight like this, then it doesn't really matter. But the, the fluidness of the ZV-1 is gorgeous. And so you can see now, all of a sudden, I've got the ZV-1. Now, I will let you know that I'm using the ZV-1 using the CamLink, uh, L the CamLink 4K from Elgato. I originally didn't think that it was worth it. You know, Callie, do you, do you, I think Luria has the Elgatos, right? She does, I yeah. originally was like, why would I spend that kind of money when I can get some of those $20 items? Well, I'm also going to show those to you today. So let's, we're going to talk a little bit more about cameras now. So we're switching out from lighting in the scenes. We're going to talk about uh, the, the, the actual camera itself. So I'm going to leave it on the ZV-1. And I'm going to show you yeah. what the ZV-1 looks like compared to the... USB 2.0, oh sorry, actually let's start with the 3.0. This is a USB 3.0 capture card now. Did you see the difference? Did you see the change? Yeah. Very minor, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna switch back between yeah. that one and the CamLink 4K. This is the CamLink 4K, and this is the uh, Lead Novo USB 3.0 capture card. Relatively good. I did do some color grading on it inside of Ecamm Live to kind of get them as close as possible. However, again, one of the big things that you can see as the major differences here is that one of them is very liquidy smooth and one of them is not. Can you guess which one? Oh, I'm not good at guess guessing games. There's the... so much pressure. There's <laughs> so much pressure. It's tough, right? <laughs> so the one that is closer to this side where I'm pointing is <laughs> yeah. the actual CamLink 4K. And the one that's closer to this side is the USB 3.0 device. Uh, so you could actually see huge mega differences between them. Yeah, there's um, more detail now, in Interesting. Right? Yeah, now I'm gonna switch over to the USB 2.0. This is a blue AVS USB 2.0. Did you see a big difference? Not a huge amount of difference here. So. The only thing, again, is that frame rate. You're not going to get that frame rate. So the USB 2.0 is running at 1080p, 30 frames a second. And the USB 3.0 is running also at 1080p, 30 frames a second. And don't be fooled by the advertising on Amazon. <laughs> Every one of them says it does 1080p 60. Callie, it's not true. It's not true. They don't run at 1080p 60. They're actually all 1080p 30. Um, 
And as you could see from that one camera alone, that it's, it's really not that fluid. So I'm going to leave it at the Elgato Camlink 4K so that you can continue to see what this thing looks like. And yeah. we are going to do a side-by-side, -side, actually. <gasps> this is the side-by-side. -side. Some side-by-side -side action. Ooh. Vogue. Mer, 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 na, na, na. <laughs> right? Armed. <laughs> So, so you can see the differences side by side of each of these three different ca uh, capture cards. And they all work. So it works based on what your budget is. If you have a low budget, then start with the USB 2.0 or the USB 3.0 card. Because the 2.0 card is $20 and the USB 3.0 card is, uh, I believe, $60 or $50. Um, versus the Camlink 4K, which is over twice that amount. So the, right now, by the way, folks, if you want an Elgato... Uh, if you want the Elgato uh, Camlink 4K, go and grab one. There's a link in the description. Uh, it is right now on sale for, I think, $105 US. So you want to go pick one of those up as soon as you can. Hey, Daniel, I saw CK pointed this out, but something's up with your audio. Something changed when you were messing with the capture cards. Did it? Your audio is coming from somewhere else. Sounds further away. I wonder. Well, I'm going to leave it. Let me see. I'm still on the same mic. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Uh, it's all the same mic. Really? It sounds further away. It's not as crisp. Oh, what? Here it is. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Did it fall? Okay, this is a little pause in the recording. I'll tell you what happened right oh, now. Oh no, Lurie is, Lurie is here. Everyone, everyone. See this piece of gaffer tape? <laughs> Okay, so I'm hiding, the, I'm hiding the uh, the lav mic on my sh under my shirt. I'm actually putting it inside and taped it onto my skin. But I sweat so much during the countdown that the tape say, came off. I was gonna say, I'm like, was he sweating too much on the countdown, and that's what happened? We were grooving hard. We were really grooving You're hard. Glowing. So that was a good good little pause. By the way, if you guys are noticing that you're glowing, you can actually get something called. The uh, Inno something. It's not. Uh. Look at this. Inno's free. No sebum mineral powder. It actually takes away shine. Ooh. So if you're really self conscious, you can take away the shine. You know, Ooh. that's uh, that's that part. So let's nice. see. Where were we at, Callie? We were just showing the differences between the soft boxes. Your, oh, sorry, yes. the camera devices. And your, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> back on track. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's back on track. Focus. Okay. Focus. <laughs> Luria, go away! <laughs> Lav mic, don't fail me now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the price cost difference between the two. This is what I call the base level plus configuration. It is the Sony ZV-1 at $648, the softbox lighting kit at $58, a blue snowball at $40, $40 a desk mount pole at only $21, a couple of friction arms, one I put for the blue microphone uh, as well as the other ones for the camera, and the RGB lights in the background, it's $927. So for under $1,000, wow. you can actually get a really, really good looking, uh, uh, you know, v camera view, right? So yeah. that is a really nice configuration, I think. And um, anyway, so it does range, it'll range from anywhere between $927 and $1,002. I believe, depending upon which wow. capture card that you get. Now, if you don't want to spend the 20 bucks on a capture card and an HDMI cable, then that's fine. You could just connect your ZV-1 um, or actually some of the, most of the, the Sony mirrorless cameras now and the Canon ones, like the Canon M50 Mark II. You can connect those by USB to your computer system as well. But I'll tell you right now that you see this is the, Z, this is the C920. The ZV-1 connected by USB is kind of like this quality. It's actually not that good. I mean, it's not as much blowout, but I'm talking about the frame rate and the resolution is not that good uh, in my eyes. And I've actually found that it stutters a little bit when it's connected to USB. So that's why I just went all out and got myself the uh, Camlink 4K plus the other cards to play around with. And so, so uh, uh, would you yeah. Say so the Elgato's worth it, or? Uh... I 100% say the Elgato <laughs> is worth it. And, and just go out there and get it right now. As I said, it's $105 as of the time of this recording, which is phenomenal because about a week and a half ago, it was $130. And a week ago, it was $120. So $105 is phenomenal. And you get to save lunch for later. So that's, that's nice. pretty much it. And um, all in all, this entire studio setup you can see here, 
looks like this. It so this like, is what I look at. Well, some people still have to stream, but some people, a lot of people say it's buffering for them. It's buffering for me too. Is yeah, that... not sure why. Okay, sorry, continue then. I just, I wasn't yeah. sure why I was working for some and not. Hopefully it's not my yeah. side, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, so obviously you have to have good internet connections. But anywho, that is how you build a studio for a very, very low budget, from just a couple hundred bucks to maybe a thousand dollars, and you've got something good going on. That's wild. Thanks for showing us, Daniel. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I no problem. Too, with the, all the numbers, all the math done You for like us. it a lot? Yeah. Yeah, like it's it really, really nice. And, uh, yeah. oh, cat's calling me out. Cat's calling me out. I'm double pointing. Um, you mean double pointing like... I think that was earlier like, when you like, were doing that. Like yeah. this? And double pointing like this? When you were like doing this? that, when you were like, what's the difference? And you were pointing both ways. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Sammy sees the, the difference. Can you show the behind the scenes again? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Like this one? Yeah, this. Yeah, so this is these are real. This is my equipment. So sometimes people are asking me, Daniel, what do you have? Well, over here is my uh, MacBook M1. Um, I have 16 gigs of memory and uh, one terabyte drive, which I find is perfect. It is propped up right now on a box, uh, so that I can raise it a little bit higher. This here is a 144 hertz Dell gaming monitor. I got to tell you, folks, if you've seen monitors, regular monitors. And then you try to 144 hertz or higher monitor, I am telling you, what a night and day difference. Everything's just so smooth. So hertz basically is like a frequency every X times per second. So this monitor goes up to 144 hertz. So everything that you move around in your monitor is just buttery smooth and I like that. It's, uh, it's nice. So that, that's, that's essentially my setup. Now, of course, I do have other little gadgets like this little bad boy here, the Stream Deck XL. Um, yeah. I like, I'm tactile, so I like to feel the different buttons um, and, you know, versus using a tablet or a phone. Um, mm -hmm. What else is there? Here's, here's my other. Sorry, I just yeah. had to interrupt you. No worries, that no one. worries. Ding. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's really all that I've got going in terms of the studio. So what kind of questions do y'all have with regards to building your studio? Yeah. Do you guys have any tips? or uh, any other types of equipment that you guys want to share or talk about here? What do you I have? I think Daniel, can Kathleen you use gathered some questions can for us. Support? We can read off some, Kathleen gathered some for us as we were going on. So let's start from the top and take it from the bottom, just like Gloria does when she does these things. All right, Kathleen, gone, go so ahead and ask the questions. We can say whatever we want now. Because <laughs> I don't have the questions. Do you have the All questions right. in front of we you? Have, I do, I do. Okay, go ahead. Um, so Laura Williams wants to know what the plant is behind you. I'm assuming not the fake donkey tail one, but the palm one. Let's see. This Did guy? Did say your wife got that for you? Yeah. Laura, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. It's, um, it's nice. It's real. It might have been like $40. <laughs> it's it, it needs water and <laughs> give it water it needs food that's pretty all i know about uh this this plant and the other one of course is big <laughs> it's green and has bark and dirt <laughs> yeah 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 exactly all right we have elizabeth who said would that lamp work in a small space i think she was referring to the lamp that i asked you to get rid of you can bring it back bring back that lamp Everyone, let's bring back the lamp. little tiny lamp? Let's bring yeah. back the lamp that I literally just broke. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, how did that, Oops. what, what did that, what just happened? Yeah, um, I, um, let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> Let's, let's not tell my wife. Shh. You did so well with just like, I had no idea that anything happened that whole time. Has yeah. that been in the back yeah. of your mind the whole time? Yeah, during this whole live stream. Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, dude. Yeah, so that was lamps. a little bit of a boo-boo. <laughs> I, 
I'm just trying to figure out who to blame. Do I blame Luria or do I blame you? I, I well, don't know. I guess you would blame me because I'm the one that said get rid of it. So I guess that's, that's my fault. I owe you a lamp. Paul says, let's give a minute <laughs> of silence for that lamp. <laughs> Miles, it's on I the love lamp. And better things. <laughs> yes, we did, so we did love lamp. I love we lamp. We did love lamp. I love lamp. Are you just saying you love lamp? Because it's the only thing you see. Um, yeah, so that, like, was, that was kind of odd. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just going to have to find right. some other other thing to get. <laughs> Next question. Oh, Anthony did ask you. Yeah, Anthony asked you earlier if you were on a rising desk, but you're not, right? I I'm actually you. not. Yeah, so I originally was thinking about getting a rising desk. Uh, however, I realized that I'm moving. So why spend four or $500 on a rising desk? So what I actually did is I'm using an Ikea tabletop, they're only like $30, and I use the extra tall legs. So this is oh. not a traditional uh, base that uses, you know, a shorter traditional uh, thing. So if I wow. wanted to, I could actually stand up uh, if I, and, and ri raise my, raise my um, camera and monitors and all that stuff. So I could do that if I wanted to, but I didn't right now. And you guys can see my cable management. Oh, dang. Hey, that's actually ugly. a good job, Daniel. But it's still, it's, uh, don't tell Luria. It's better than what she's got going on over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I mean, in a pinch, right? In a pinch, it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. Let's see what the next one was. The magic sauce. That's what this is from. The magic sauce. Mm. What was Hello, magic the, oh, sauce. You, what was the soft light you had? Okay, one. so the softbox light that I have, uh, let me show it to you here. It's this, it's this guy here. Um, Mount it's Dog. Mount Dog softbox, and it's you save fifteen percent. So whatever fifteen percent, sixty nine dollars less fifty percent. It's it's somewhere around in the fifty dollar range. It's actually really really good. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a pro tip here. These are compact fluorescent bulbs. They are. They have more temperature heat compared to LEDs. So over time, like if you're doing a six or eight hour stream, they can heat up the office a little bit, um, but they're actually quite affordable. Like, as I said, this is under $60 after discount and they work well. So these bulbs are daylight bulbs. So you want to make sure you match everything. So you remember seeing that lamp that unfortunately took its timely toll here. That was a regular incandescent bulb. So that's a very warm bulb. So it showed up yellow because I have everything set for, uh, for a daylight uh, white balance. Now, the other interesting thing about compact fluorescent bulbs is this. If you break them, run. I'll tell you this why. Because they actually contain a minor amount of mercury inside. And uh, I read somewhere one, that Daniel. if you do... Daniel, you're gonna yeah. <laughs> Just you don't be clumsy. Just... <laughs> Just don't be clumsy is really all it is. And, uh, but anyway, just you have to air out your place for up to 24 hours as if you break a compact fluorescent bulb. Whoa. So if I don't like someone, I can just bring a bulb over to their house. Just smash <laughs> a bulb. Ah! I, I hate you. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Mm -hmm. um, Anthony Mistretta says, Hey, Daniel, want to go out for coffee sometime and compare notes? Or maybe I can help you in some way. Yeah, Anthony, I think you're actually from uh, from around where I'm at. I'm uh, I'm in Toronto and uh, or just a little bit north of Toronto. So, yeah, just message me up. I am quite busy during the rest the week, but on weekends, I give myself a little bit more time. So, yeah, definitely. Let's let's meet up for some uh, for some organic green juice. Organic green juice <laughs> made from aliens. <laughs> It's alien blood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sarah asks, is there a reason you're not using LEDs in the softbox? Uh, so Sarah, mm. the reason why is I, I did my best to choose a low cost entry level system. This is actually my old system. I have LED uh, softboxes, uh, but I wanted to get this underneath a couple, you know, just a little bit over around $200 for the entire uh, set. And yeah, so I mean, this one, they have more of a rounded, back on it so if you had uh not a godox but godox is the manufacturer but if you had the thing that has the round attachment to it you might be able to get this working on that but 
you might as well just get a whole different lighting system for that. Dang, I was wondering yeah. that too. So thanks for asking that, Sarah. Yeah. All, All the right. RGB lights are by Litu Photo. Litu Photo. Let's, oh, let's take a look at it. That sounds like Little Photo. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you, you that you? one. Uh, I was like, I feel like you're about to show your screen. You're so focused. So <laughs> focused. Okay. So th this, is, uh, this is the light pack. So two of them for $104. And they're great. They last about, I'd, I'd say about two and a half to three and a half hours at 100%. And generally speaking, unless you're going to flood an entire wall, you're not, you know, you're going to get more time out of it. I would say on average, I'll get about five or six hours of usage. However, if you know it's going to go long term, then you simply connect it to USB. So it comes with a USB-C cable and you just get a USB extension or whatever. And then that's all you, that's essentially all you're going to need to make it work. So you can see here, those are the cables <laughs> that, that are leading <laughs> to, me. to the to the thing. Yeah, that poor, poor lamp. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, how far, somebody else, like, some, how much? Hmm? Hmm? You go. Oh, no, no, you go. No, no, I insist. <laughs> oh, oh, no, please, you go. If you guys have seen Portlandia, you guys will know what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what was I going to say? Anyway, I forgot. Okay. I'll say mine then you missed it. Okay. So yeah. how much does that, those led lights, how much does the light expand on those? I see the blue one in the back is, I don't know. How yeah. So let's that see. Properly. Don't kill me. <laughs> the reach or, okay. So I'm going to increase yeah, the intensity. The the intensity. The so this reach. is a hundred percent, and this blue is now about oh, nice. two and a half feet from the wall. Oh whoa! Wow, that's nice. And then you can do different <laughs> things. You can. <laughs> oh, can it strobe? I can do a strobe. Yeah, line. random strobes. <laughs> oh, see, <laughs> that's where we like. Yeah. You can have it just, you know switch between all the colors and then you can pretend that you're the popo but you don't do this kids don't do that this is illegal um you can do but anyway it. yeah it's just not suggested <laughs> just not gonna get you didn't away hear very it from far Daniel. <laughs> nope <laughs> nice all right i was just so curious about that oh oh yeah david and david hunt asked this and i saw someone else ask it but they want to know what earpieces you're using I am using the Mi M6s. The Mi that's M6s. What Luria uses. Uh, yeah, that's what Luria uses. I actually got them because Luria recommended them. They are phenomenal for 20 bucks or whatever it is. Nice. They're really good. Now, I've, I've got a little bit of a secret here. I know Luria doesn't like wireless devices, and neither do I. Um, however, what I have done is I connected it to a little Bluetooth 5.0 adapter. And I talked about this on a previous episode or show. Mm -hmm. This little tiny gadget here is a receiver and a transmitter. So if you have multiples of these, you can go wireless audio between the two. Um, however, I'm using it simply as a receiver. And on this other end, you've got your headphone port. And this little guy here is just a little, gotta hide my face there. It's just a little uh, micro USB connector just to keep it charged up. This oh. one allows me to walk around and here, and it's good for about three hours of usage. And there's literally no latency at all because it's Bluetooth 5.0. So it works really, really good. Um, and then here's <laughs> another little, here's another little, uh, little, little, little tip for people. You know, whoever invented these tiny little plugs that go only one way, you know, you should be put away for life because this is really not that easy to figure out. Is it, you know, are you putting it the right way or not? I can't tell you how many people have broken uh, different cables because of that. So because this one really, I don't need it for data at all. Like why is it using a USB connection? It's just, just, you know, powering it. So I bought these little gadgets. Can you even so see it? Tiny, teeny, little, tiny. Face. I gotta hide my face. Uh, oh, uh, I can't uh, see it. Uh, I bet you switch to the Logitech really quick. 
I bet the because the logic won't this. try to focus on it. <laughs> okay. So you see that? So this here is a little micro USB connector. But on this end, it's a magnet. It's so cute yeah. too. <laughs> so look at look look at this look at this magic. Do, do. Da, da. Oh! Wow. <gasps> that is so cool! <gasps> right? So all yeah. I do, here, all I do is you just connect this little adapter into this little it. USB port. Oh, there you go. There we go. You just connect that adapter into the little USB port and that's it. And then here. Whoa! And it's charging. Sammy says, so, so nice, guys, gotta say it twice. What's the name of this thing? It's called a magnet USB charger, I think. <laughs> U magnet oh. USB charging cable. Magnetic USB charging cable. That is so cool. Yeah, so I really like these. Yeah. I, in fact, I because I don't use the data cable on my iPhone, I bought one for the iPhone as well, and I just... When I get into the car, I just mount it on the magnetic back and I just put this on the bottom and she's good to go. She's charging while, you know, uh, while I'm driving and I don't need to fiddle with a little cable at the same time. Nice. Mm -hmm. Fiddle with a little cable. Fiddle a little. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Sammy. Oh, and if you were, if you wanted to know what earpieces I'm using. I'm using <laughs> just some uh, iPhone. That's why my ear hurts. I had them in the wrong ears. <laughs> I was like, damn, my ear. Oh, oh no. I, I was like, dang, dang, my ear hurts. Okay, yeah, hold on. Shoot, I was wondering what that was. Why it hurts so bad? Okay, next question. Yeah, well, now I'm you got ready. it. Okay. Um, Sammy says, do you think you're going to upgrade the mic from the snowball to a better one? Ooh, that was kind of a backhanded thing, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, how do I ban him? Is there a way to ban him? <laughs> yeah, you are mod. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. So, uh, yeah, so... Um, in church. Oh, I, thank you. <laughs> so I had a very expensive Blue Spark microphone, which is a phenomenal microphone. And again, I was moving and I wanted to get a different microphone. So I sold it. And then, then the move got delayed and it's kind of like, okay, what should I get that's going to work well enough for now? And then sell it off and then upgrade when I get to my final place. That's really what it came down to. So I just, I wanted to look for a microphone that would be okay. Now I'm using the lav mic right now, but I'm going to switch over to the blue and you guys are going to hear this right now and tell me. So this is now the blue microphone. What do you think? Ooh, crisp. Oh my God. Crisp. Like coffee crisp. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Stop. Yeah. So this is, <laughs> so this is, this is, uh, this is the blue mic you can see here and I've got it attached to a couple of adapters and then to the friction arm. And then that's attached to the metal pole at the back there. Uh, so, and it's about, it's about, uh, I'm going to say it's approximately 18 to 24 inches from my face, which is a little bit further than what I would like, you know, because here, when you talk like this, it's actually a much better, clearer sound, but I don't like talking that close to the microphone and yeah, I don't want it's it weird. in. Yeah. That's like Luria has hers literally right here as you guys have probably seen out of shot. And I feel, I still feel like it's in my face for some reason, like, hi. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. It's also still weird hearing myself. Yeah. We can kind I mean, of go off the cup, right? Because we're not clipping anything. Okay. We're not, yeah, this is all, this is all just Q and A stuff right now. What other questions have come in? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, next question is Creativity Playground. Are you using a gimbal for your phone? Do you recommend one? I do recommend a gimbal for your phone because it's horrible when you don't use a gimbal because why would you want to make people sick? <laughs> so this one is the <laughs> DJI Osmo. Um, the latest one, I think it's the Osmo 
four or the osmo osmosis the, jones the latest one anyway it's it's really good it's got a little magnetic base so you can go ahead and simply just unattach it and then you're good to go and then you just put it back on and it's fancy poncy so that's what I use whenever nice. I'm using my phone because you don't you don't want to make people sick. You you just want to move in and out and and I'm like I'm shaking yeah. right now. Whoa, and it's not really that bad. Oh, whoa, nice. Wait, can I see how intensely you're shaking it? Oh yeah, okay. Here, look. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm watch. I'm shaking it. And if I was using <laughs> hand holding this thing, you'd be like getting barfy right now, but you can see it's it's not that bad. It's it stays. You know, the other thing you wow. can do is just, you can move around like this. <gasps> Bring it around it's... town. Nice. Yeah. So I it's relatively this. stable. Mm -hmm. And this, and this, and that. Yeah. You could totally nice. dance well. Mm -hmm. I need a gimbal. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. So next question. <laughs> oh, that's Sammy's little disc question I was reading. Um... Lyle, Lyle asks, can Kelly replace Luria? <laughs> I'm only saying that because she's going to watch the replay probably. <laughs> and she'll see that I accidentally said a bad word. Yeah. I'm going to get fired. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So let's see. Anthony <laughs> asked if I can lower the ISO. And I could definitely lower the ISO. So this is, this is a lowered ISO. What do you think? Oh, nice. I like that. I do. Your skin looks so smooth. I feel like this... Luria settings on this makes me look like a goblin. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? I should just do the rest like this. Daniel, yeah. what do you just say? What do Never get too close. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like Schmeagle, the yes. Sony. My precious. <laughs> precious. Oh, my precious. Uh, Ronald, oh, Ronald, it's the oh, uh, Mi M6, M E E M6. Search that up. Uh, there's, there, we can post a link in the chat right now for you on that one. Uh, Rich wants to do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. Um, oh, can we really? Oh, okay, fine. Should we say it? Oh wait, okay, we're not we doing do the that. whole hokey pokey. Wait, no, my that that yeah, that would be another live stream. I can't do it because my headphones. But imagine. Yeah. So we yeah. have Renee. Oh crap! <laughs> Renee Richie asks. How are you going to build out your new studio once you've moved, Daniel? Any big plans? I don't have any big plans. In fact, what I'm actually considering is allowing you guys to decide what I build. Whoa! Yeah. That's a great so idea. So I'm going to do two build outs, actually. One is going to be a tiny closet build, literally where I'll be in a closet. And just to show people what they can achieve in a tiny space of maybe six by six. And then the other one is going to be a larger studio. And then I, I'm actually thinking about letting the audience pick that one. Nice. Oh, that's so exciting. Everyone get your little Actually, Paul going. does have a good idea. Plan. Get a new lamp. <laughs> yeah. Step one. New lamp. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> Don't get yeah. one of those mercury light bulbs for it either, just in case. Could you imagine if that happened while we were live right now when you broke the light bulb and we're like, we got to stop everyone. I did. <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> I, li I literally, <laughs> when you said, can you move or something? And I moved it and it went, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, yeah. So it unfortunately to its demise, it's, oh. it's all right. I'll have a little bit of a ceremony afterwards and everybody's welcome. Yeah. Yeah, and but peace. we're not, we're not, there's no shrimp cocktails at the party, so. <laughs> oh, never mind, I'm yeah. not coming then. <laughs> yeah, kidding. okay. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I hope I'm not going to mess it up, but Jamano, Jamano Snyders, what lens do you recommend for the M50 Mark II? Great question. That will depend on what you're looking to achieve. So Luria actually just created a great video a week or not even two weeks ago called Which Lens? Yeah. And so the link is going to be in the chat. So keep a lookout for that one right now. And it's a phenomenal video where Luria compares the 16 millimeter F1.4 to the 30 millimeter F1.4 millimeter F1. and the 56. <laughs> or the 56 millimeter F1.4. <laughs> <laughs> and so she, she, she compares all of those. And I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Like there's... Um, I have my remote like this is like 16 mil 
and then this is like 30 mil and then this is like the 56 mil and it's like it just doesn't look good at all but i'm using the zv one so it's a little bit different yeah nice Mm -hmm. all right let's see mary asked mary spiegel yeah yes yes mary it's a 13 inch macbook pro <laughs> You're pulling this out from where is this coming from? The inner depths of Daniel's mind. <laughs> I don't know. Mine it's is long... Schmeagle. It's is been a cool. long day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Alex. Sean Connery, like an... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have. Um, oh, Paul Duncan asked again, what were the RGB lights? But I think Little this was a while photo. ago. Ritu photo, Ritu. Oh no, that's not it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Ritu photo. photo. Yeah. So if anybody wants to I see, every time I show you everything. Everything I show you. <laughs> um, this one here is a good enough USB powered hub. Don't get unpowered hubs. I've tested numerous ones out there, and most most of them are okay, but some of them kind of tank when you connect too many devices to it but this one has actually been pretty good i use this as a secondary one nice. on top of my cal digit uh, ts3 plus uh this is the two pack of rgb lights this one here is the small rig clamp uh it's funny though in canada and the united states it's only 9.5 inches but in the uk it's 10. hmm what are they trying to say um yeah what is this then this is the single pole desk mount that I was talking about. This one actually can, oh, okay. it comes with the accessories for you to install a monitor on it. But for $21, this is actually cheaper than buying a regular desk mount pole. So just, you know, forget this part. You don't need that part. Just leave that alone and install and mount everything onto this pole itself. Okay. Oh, so nice. That's this one device. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's see what else. What else do we have? Here's the Blue AVS uh, USB 2.0 camera uh, a, a hdmi capture card again here's here's the differences between the three so you've got the elgato cam link 4k you've got the lead nova usb 3.0 and the blue abs usb 2.0 can you tell the difference i can tell the difference <laughs> it's very very tough i wish i could do very, sean very connery but i can't <laughs> oh yes yes you can come on <laughs> I can't because my voice is too like hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I can't get all deep and low like Sean does. Yeah. Like you no. do. Well you can do that voice if you want to. Oh I can do this one real nice. <laughs> <laughs> I always have to make a face when I do it. <laughs> you should right. just have a show yeah, of different Bryant. voices. I know, Jason? that'll be us when we take over. Luria's like they're never taking over again. We're not letting this happen. <laughs> Jason Bryant, what is the best way to attach will cost lights to a wall, for example? I use baby plates for my larger go docks from the ceiling. Ask that question one more time again, please. I was distracted the by the baby comments. is there. Okay, the baby distracted me. I was like a baby. Um, what's the best way to attach low cost lights to a wall? For example, I use baby plates for my larger go docks from the ceiling. Okay. So there are a couple of different things. Um, by an Amazon, there is something called a wall a baby. mount uh, light. Let's see. Let's switch it over here. It's not wall mount light. It's Ooh. called a wall mount wall mount quarter inch. Wall mount quarter inch for baby plates. <laughs> Babies on plates. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it's it, oh, here it is. It's like these guys here. So essentially, it'll stick out a little bit. So it just depends. If you want it really close, then you have to move the arm just beside the wall and then, and, and uh, put the mount the light there. But these are great. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive. I think there's a newer one, which might be around 40 or $50. And they're very, very strong. So this is something that I would recommend for wall mounting any types of lights. Nice. Cool. You can do mm -hmm. a mic too. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, we have Anthony Mistrata again. Yes, Coffee Anthony. Man. He's wondering 
how your picture would look if you look. Oh, you already did that. <laughs> how my picture would Come look on. if I. If you lower the again? ISO. <laughs> oh, if I lower the ISO. Okay. If you lower the ISO, yeah, which you already did. And it looks great. It looks like super this? good. Lower like this, more. Anthony. Yeah. Oh, yes. so smooth. No. <laughs> Daniel, now super this is spy. my very white, my very white voice. Mm. Ooh, sultry. <laughs> that looks really nice. Honestly, really? I mean, yeah, it looks super nice. You're it just does. saying that you don't want to see my face? I think everybody she's no. saying she doesn't want to see my face. <laughs> I just um. meant it like it set a mood, you know? Okay, let's see. Oh, real Aaron Collins says, are you leaving Toronto? I am trying to at least. Bye, Toronto. Bye. Yeah, we're just we're just trying to get all the paperwork ready, but it's all good. Nice. Everything is everything is going according to plan. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> That's the best Craig Ferguson doing Sean Connery I've ever heard. That's honestly that's good. Renee. Yes, he totally nailed it. I was like, it sounds like someone else too. It sounds like someone doing an impersonation of Sean Connery. Oh my God, you nailed it. Yeah, um, I should do. We should do other, other, other ones while we go. Oh my God, I can, can do impressions questions. all day. Okay, yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, Ronald Wallace, will that wait? Will that come with the wireless USB device? Oh, come, come. Will that come with the wireless USB device? The magnetic Which one? thing, I think. The magnetic thing. Oh, this I little think. bad boy? This oh, little ew. bad boy went to the market. Yeah. This little cable here. So yeah. this, these basically come as USB um, cables. And then it comes with a bunch of ends. So I think the one that I got was around $25 or $35. And it came with four iPhone uh, lightning connectors four or five different USB, uh, micro USB connectors, and then a bunch of USB-C connectors. So they come just like that. Okay. And that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. John Pollan says, I left Toronto many years ago. I was only there for 24 hours during a vacation, so it probably doesn't count. <laughs> no, John, that does <laughs> that not count. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, all you're right. from Canada? Yes, I am from Canada. Do you know that guy named Phil? No. I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you ride polar bears and eat <laughs> and seals? Hey, um, Colty has a question. We have a couple others, but yes, let's do it. Well, I just put it on the screen, so we're going to answer this one. Colty, is it better to have... Actually, hold, should should I... Which, no, which no, voice do you do want? It. Which voice? Oh, 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 oh. Um, do a leprechaun. No, actually, a don't. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble if I do that one. <laughs> monster. Do a monster. A monster. <laughs> Is it better to have a less brighter setting on key light so my background and color lights would get brighter? Um. So, Colty, yeah. So, what, is it better to have less brighter setting on a key light? So that background and colors lights would get brighter. Yeah, absolutely. So typically what you want to do is if you have a camera that you can adjust your, your aperture uh, with and your ISO, you know, so like mirrorless or DSLR, things like that, what you want to do is you want to set that to manual. So if I knew that I wanted better, more, uh, more of the background lighting, I'm either going to brighten that background lighting or I'm going to change the ISO. So as you see, when I got all Barry White in the background, Ooh. it's dark in the background. However, now I'm not really necessarily lit up. So what I need to do is I need to increase my key lights on me. Does that make sense? So you would always adjust. So for example, if you have, um, if you have windows in the background, now of course, if you have windows, you wanna use neutral density filters or ND filters. But if you've got a window in the background, typically speaking, most people adjust the light for the person. But imagine if that was that blue light was for the uh, window, it's gonna be blown out and they would do normally this. So what you do to compensate that to get the real good look is to lower your ISO so that the window is not blown out and then add more light to the subject. That's typically yeah. how you would wanna set your studio up. Looks great. Yeah. Okay, next question. Next question is from my mom. Oh, hey mom. She says, 
I think if you did an outer space background, it would look larger than the set really is. Am I right? What? An outer space background? Mom, <laughs> go away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't outer know space what you is big. <laughs> it is big. It so is, it probably would be. would definitely be larger uh, if it was an outer space. Bigger. That is called unlimited bulking. Think... Unlimited bulking. She... <laughs> I think she, I don't know, a uh, paper background or something like this. I don't know. But that's all right. That's all right. Um... Here, oh, actually, let me clarify this question. Ronald was asking about the little Bluetooth yeah. device I was talking about. So this little Bluetooth guy, um, it just basically comes with a little black adapter and it comes with a tiny little USB, -C, uh, USB micro USB cable. That's all it comes with. And then you just hold it down for three or four or 11 seconds. You connect it to Bluetooth and you're done. This white part is my headset. And this little magnetic thing is completely separate. That was another 20 some odd dollars. And this guy here, the little Bluetooth adapter, I want to say, I, I think I only paid $30 for it. So it was actually a really, really good price. Yeah. Oh, nice. Now, yeah. Nice. Well, hey, guess what, everybody? We're at the top of the hour and we're even beyond the top of the hour. We've got a bunch <laughs> of people on. I think yeah, we had a pretty good show today, out. Callie. Yeah, yeah everybody. Thanks fun. for coming. Hopefully yeah, we can do this again. Thank you for coming, everyone. And I know hopefully Luria will let us do it again. Don't tell her what I said earlier. What'd you say? She just came back in. That's why I said that. Yeah. But you know what also sucks? Or I mean, am I allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> She's here. So now I'm like, <laughs> everyone, everyone, none of this happened ever. Everyone were very serious. <laughs> yeah. I was going to come up with something to prank Luria for next time, but she's here. I was going to be like, oh my gosh, on Friday, let's all say, ah, or whatever. But she's yeah. here, so now, mm, can't do it. Did you did you loosen up the uh, the duct tape on Luria so that we could do the show, or is it is she still okay? I think she bit through it, oh to be gosh, honest. She's a beast. I know. I was, oh I know. I know. Crazy she's stuff. She's a beast. All right. <laughs> well... Let's all have fun right now. Everybody, thank you so much oh. for joining us today. Yeah, oh, we got to say the what classic. Was that? The classic. That was, that let's was the dance Shrek this... voice. <laughs> okay, the classic, everybody. Let's dance this baby.